let the attack of the awesome begin. Hello and welcome to Attack of the Awesome, where we grow better than The Hangover Part 2 and Kung Fu Panda 2. I'm your host, Mike, <laughs> and along with me is our co-host, Susie and JJ. But who cares about guests. people? I'm back! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. I don't know you. You don't know me. <laughs> it's your turn! <laughs> I took your place. That's all you need to know. Oh! <laughs> yeah. yeah. After I willingly gave it up, you didn't observe anything. I mean, at least I entered a contest to win it. Yeah, one of the best contests ever held, for sure. The American Idol of podcasting. Definitely. (laughs) 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 Moving on to our first segment of the podcast, The Round the Web, where we check out other videos that's not on Channel Awesome or the forums. So, who would like to talk about what they've seen? Me, 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 pick yeah. me, pick me. Yeah, Chris, okay. on you go. Okay, Chris, go. I haven't seen anything, sorry. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, outside of Channel Awesome, I watch The Escapist. I watch Zero Punctuation, Yahtzee Croshaw. Uh-huh. That's an awesome series. He reviews games, and he does it with, like, a British accent, so it's, like, automatically funny. <laughs> like, he could just say random things like, oh, this game has multiplayer, and then you'd be like, ah, it's British and funny. <laughs> but no, he actually tells jokes, and those are really funny, too. Yeah. Yeah, watch his stuff because it's funny and British. And British stuff is automatically funny. Hooray! Hooray! Just look at my... <laughs> automatically yeah. funny. That's it. Your turn. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll sneak into this bit. I saw probably the greatest marriage proposal video I've ever seen Mm -hmm. on YouTube. It was this guy that created a movie trailer for his girlfriend. I saw that. It was so incredible. Basically, the guy had created a trailer showing him going to her dad to ask his permission for him to marry his daughter. She had no idea who it was until the, the very end. And then you see him running from the house, getting in his car it becomes like it starts off a really romantic movie into an action movie into a comedy it's it's hysterical yeah. it really was really epic especially when he got to the theater and it was all ready to go in and then he had to stop and get popcorn and then run into the theater and, and of course she said yes <laughs> yeah because if she said no everybody in the theater would have lynched her <laughs> would, she would have been thrown down the stairs like if yeah. she said oh no uh, that's that's it. I would have thrown all the popcorn in her face, put the tub on her head, and started hitting <laughs> it with like various objects, and then thrown her down the stairs. <laughs> 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 and then I'd pawn the ring. Okay. That's okay. I'm going to talk about what I saw that's not on Channel Awesome, that was on YouTube. There's a web series on YouTube that combines two different shows, Family Guy and Doctor Who. Uh, it's Doctor Stu. Doctor Stu. I wonder how uh, long it took to come up with that pun. I thought you would have come <laughs> up with Doctor Guy if it was two Doctor Who and Family Guy, but that's yeah. too obvious. <laughs> Fam- family Who. <laughs> <laughs> He but yeah, it's just some. <laughs> interesting to see how they combine the Family Guy aspects of the show with Doctor Who. Yes, an interesting and... show combined with stupid jokes. <laughs> Definitely an interesting combo. Damn you, Bobo! <laughs> Yes. Funny, yes. Man, yes. That's it. He's got his little sidekick. Damn you! And then somebody like farts or something, and they go, "Ah oh. <laughs> That's Family Guy in a nutshell. I am. It's Terrence and Philip. What? Terrence oh, yeah. and Philip from South Park. Yeah, they Shut do. Shut your fucking face and go back. You're a cocksucking and kicking and go back. You're an uncle fucker. Yes, it's true. Nobody you fucked your uncle yesterday. Do, 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 do. It's my turn now. Yes. Dude. Oh yeah, the other person who's yeah, the Who other guy. Yeah. My name is JJ. I'm is that your great... real name, or is that an alias? No, that's my real name. Are you legal? No. <laughs> I'm, only ni- I'm only 19. Oh, you're just a youngin. And I'm in the country. <laughs> yes, I am legal. Do you have a green card that I can see? No. I got Are a black know? card, but that's more for money. Are you here on a work visa, or...? <laughs> Anyway, the thing I've been looking at, I've been watching Red vs. Blue, which is a machinima by Rooster Teeth, and I've just been watching them, and they got the trailer out right now for Season 9. Yes. 
it's really like starting to run away from the machinima, kind of. That's the yeah, only problem I have with it. I definitely agree with you there, because at the beginning it was all done in the Halo engine. Now they're just all CG. And yeah. don't get me wrong, the CG bits are pretty good looking for like a group of guys, but you know, it's going away. It's not a machinima then. No, it's just a CG thing. It's, then again, they wanted to make it an animated series. That just yeah, didn't. nobody still, wanted to pick it up. Still a wicked cool series though. Hopefully they stick to just the Halo Reach engine or something, hopefully. And just do action scenes with CGI. I don't know. All right, oh. Mike, are you still here? <laughs> yeah. You scared him away. Just... All this no, talk of machinima and marriage proposals. These guys are alienating me. <laughs> I'm just, no, I'm just listening to you guys, that's all. I, I did you. my yeah. segment. They ignored me. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to the next segment of What in the World of, where we talk about what's going on in the music, video games, and movie fields of the world. And anime as well. See, what you got in the movie world? There's a few things that I want to just go over briefly. Now, the first article that I found during the week was a classic horror film is set for remake. I don't know if you guys will have read this, but they are remaking Carrie. Now, this is one of the very few horror films that I absolutely love. I don't care how gory it is, I don't care how disturbing it is in some ways. I think it is a really good movie. MGM and Screen Gems are planning to remake it, but they are bringing in a new writer to kind of bring a new twist and new ideas to the movie, and they've taken on the man that saved the Spider-Man Broadway play, Roberto Aguirre Sacasa. I'd love to see who they actually get to play her. Helena Bonham Carter. That would be interesting to see her playing the mother in it or something. Or It's one of those movies I think you shouldn't touch with a barge pole because the original was so good. You know who they could get? They could get Helen Mirren to play the mother because that'd be funny. Yeah. See, to see elderly Helen Mirren go, No wire hangers! No wire hangers! <laughs> <laughs> and just to see her get knifed at the end. <laughs> well, yeah. Maybe not Helen Mirren then. Yeah. She's, She's somebody she, that you don't like. <laughs> yeah, somebody who's elderly. Who, If she didn't get knifed at the end, Betty White would be great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see. No wire hangers. No wire hangers. The next story I found is about Zoolander 2. Oh, no. That's going to be so uh, bad. I don't know if you guys like the original one. No. That came out. I have to say I love it. I wasn't crazy about it at first, but after a few times of watching it, I really got into it. So that's coming close to production. Uh, it's been ten years since the, since the first movie, so... That's exactly why it'll be bad. Yeah. The only, the only, the only series that can get away with releasing movies ten years after the last sequel is Toy Story. Oh, hell yes. <laughs> That's the only one who can get away with it. Zoolander, a movie like that where it's about a weird model. No, that's not going to be good when Ben Stiller's going to be, what, 40-something? Anyway, we can look forward to the second Zoolander coming out any time in the future. Anyway. I'll be seeing it. My last right. story I want to talk about, the actor Jeff Conway. I don't know if you uh, guys yeah. have seen him. Oh, he, he was in a coma, and he died on Friday. He was age 60. So as I did with the other deaths that happened, beforehand I just want to give him a little cheer because he was a fantastic actor people who know him will remember him from the TV show in the 70s Taxi and especially from playing Kinnicky in Greece he was a really good guy so rest in peace Jeff now we go into the world of video games video games let's see I suppose I'll just talk about a game that just came out L.A. Noir. For those of you who don't know, it's, it was published by Rockstar Games, famous for creating Grand Theft Auto, Red Dead Redemption, all the good games, and being developed by Team Bondi, who's not famous for anything yet, but hey, whatever. So <laughs> L.A. Noir just came out, I think, like last Tuesday or maybe the week before. Anyway, it's a 1940s noir crime thriller. I recommend you get it because it has the most amazing facial capture technology ever seen it in a video game. Rockstar. And it was made by Rockstar, yes. And they suck at graphics normally. Uh, I wouldn't say that. Grand Theft Auto 4 and Red Dead Redemption weren't bad looking games. True. Maybe, maybe back on like the, maybe yeah, the PS2 true. Grand Theft Auto 3, yeah. That looked pretty bad, but you couldn't expect much from 2000. Maybe it was 2000 that Grand Theft Auto 3 came out. The whole point is buy it because it's awesome. Were there any other games of no? Oh yeah, I forgot. Like the most important thing ever. Uh, Brink. E3. No, fuck Brink. 
<laughs> Brink is not as good as everybody says it is. Brink is it's not. It's a deathmatch game. Just it's, yeah, it's a deathmatch death game. Match. It's an utter mess, okay? It tried to put parkour where parkour wasn't needed. It was only needed in Mirror's Edge. Yeah, and even in Mirror's Edge, it had its flaws. Parkour is not good if you're playing a first-person game. It's good parkour for a platformer. At, yes, it's good for games like Assassin's Creed. Parkour is is good for that, and that's about it. E3? Anyway, yeah, E3, the thing I was talking about before I was interrupted about Brink. It's great. <laughs> uh, E3, the Electronic Entertainment Expo, the biggest convention of the gaming year where all the game developers and publishers get together and talk about the stuff that will be making you broke in the coming months. I thought it was uh, Tokyo Game Show. No, that's if you're in Japan. But for E3, it's it's really interesting. Is basically how little people know. Nintendo's got their new console coming out. The Project Cafe with its touchscreen controller and other assorted randomness that nobody knows yet could be interesting. It's going to be in HD, which is what the Wii should have been in, but... It's not. Talk, talking to people, though, I don't think a lot of the people who bought the Wii, like the casual people who just bought it because, oh, look, you can swing your wrist and you throw a Frisbee on the screen. Hooray! Yay. <laughs> I don't think those people are going to be as into Project Cafe as they were at into the Wii. I don't think they're going to be... still do what the Wii can do, probably, though. It'll it'll probably be able to do that, but based on what I've seen on the controller, it's got a screen on it. It's got a screen, a touch screen on the c- uh, controller, and it looks like a GameCube controller. I don't know how it'll do motion controls, if it's going to have a touch screen, too. I think that might be a little too much to ask for from really? the casual people who bought the Wii, thinking like, oh, look, I move my arms, and my arms on the screen move. How cool. I don't think they're really looking for an upgrade right now. And then, of course, you've got the Sony, who's got, like, games up the butt this year with Uncharted and Infamous and whatever they're doing with the new NGP, their new handheld, which will suck. But, hey, what do I know? And it'll probably be a ton of money. Because Sony's pretty much famous for coming out and saying, we're going to charge you an exorbitant amount of money for this. Like everybody knows, the PSP Go, $250. The PlayStation 3, when it first came out, 599 U.S. dollars. I'm thinking the NGP is probably going to be around the 250, 300 range too, because they think they're competing with the iPad, which will wipe the floor with it. And finally, there is Microsoft, who hasn't really shown anything. They're probably going to do stuff for Kinect and probably announce some first-party games, because all they've really got is Gears of War this year. It'll be interesting to see if they do something with Alan Wake, or maybe talk about the Halo remake that's supposed to be coming this November. That'd be interesting to see. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And, and then there's Konami. Yeah, everybody loves seeing Konami's press conferences because they're a bunch of weird Japanese people who get together <laughs> and act curious. I like to see Team Ninja. Yeah, they got Ninja Gaiden 3 coming out. I hope they got that at E3. I can't wait to what? see trailers for that. It's oh, well. my right, turn! Now we... JJ! Now we go in the world, the world of, of anime. In the world of anime, motherfucking four kids got bought out by motherfucking Funimation. And if you guys don't know what Funimation is, Funimation is the guys who did Dragon Ball Z. And if you don't know what Dragon Ball Z is, I want you to commit suicide. <laughs> uh, go Straight drink up. some lighter yeah. fluid and eat a match. <laughs> and film yourself while you do that and have one of your friends post your death on YouTube. I would love to watch it. Or drink the blue juice under the sink. So with that bought out, uh, we can now finally, like, watch good editions of all of our anime, all dubbed by Funimation, who dubbed uh, Full Metal Alchemist, which I think is probably the best dub show I've ever seen. Like, uh, it deserves Academy Awards for how good the acting is. Definitely one of the better ones. I think another good dub anime was, I don't think it was Funimation, but Death Note was also very well dubbed. Yes, it was, actually. Now, my favorite voice actor, Brad Swaley, and he went to Yomacon one year, and I went to that, too. Also, Comic-Con is coming! Yes! Comic-Con! People that, like, get to go to E3, because, yeah, I know, like, it's about, it's a press conference. Only the press can really go. Even though, like, a lot of my friends, one of my friends who hosts, like, a little video game website, he gets to go. I'm all like, he's not the press, he's just some douchebag that runs a website. Well, you know, they let Spoonie go. They let Angry Joe go. And those guys. Why Angry mess. Joe? They're the same things. They're douchebags who run websites. <laughs> anyway, so Comic Con just happens to be a popular douchebag who runs a website. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Spoonie, if you're listening, you're a douchebag. Yeah, you're a douchebag. <laughs> I'm, yeah, like I'm just kidding, Spoonie. Huh? You ain't that bad. I like your vlog, Spoonie. <laughs> 
They're, they're the most enjoyable thing about your site. But anyway, uh, Comic Con's coming. Your so brother's the most enjoyable thing about your show. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's not a scrunchy douchebag. I would like to see some of the members of that guy with the glasses at Comic Con. It's not like I'm going to be going or anything. Or I might. I don't know. I don't, I'm not really sure when Comic Con is. I just know that a lot of people plan on going that I know and that are on forums and whatnot. And I think you need to, it's like the Super Bowl. Like you need to order tickets. Yeah. Or like room registration, like 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 from last year, pretty much. Yeah, you you need to be you need to be really prepared if you're going to go to Comic Con. Like I want to. Uh, where is this one? Is this the San Diego one? Yeah, they're always in San Diego. No, they have them like in they're Montreal and too. Texas too, and New York. They have them like all over the place. Oh yeah, and, but in New York, like I think they have that like at uh, in fall, I think. The, is this this one's the San Diego one though, right? Yeah, the one yeah. in San Diego's in July. Kind of want to go to the one that they have on the East Coast. I don't remember when they do that. I think they actually do that in spring. Or maybe it does in spring. I'm not sure. I never. I, I only yeah. hear about the main major one in San Diego because California is bigger than New York. Yeah, I take it you're from New York. No. I, well, no. actually, yes, yes, I am. <laughs> that, yeah, I could tell you. Just, you kind of said California is bigger than New York. You said that with a bit of contempt there. I was like, he must be from New York. So do, Cali people are douchebags. They are the ones that make Americans look bad. <laughs> Out there in Scotland, Susie, don't you guys be talking about Americans like we're the worst people in the world? No, it's the Californians. <laughs> Matter of fact, I can segue this back to four kids, and that's located in New York. And now they got bought out by Funimation who is out in California. Well, they were out in California. But the point is, I did a good job with my segment, and you guys always segue off, especially you, Susie. You suck! Yeah. <laughs> Gee! That was, that, was that was a little critic talking right there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that movie! <laughs> Chris, have you ever watched any of my videos? No, I haven't gotten around to it. You, you do the little critic black reviews, right? That's you? Yes. Okay. Funny as hell. Every single one. Funny as hell. Funny as hell. I don't know. I have to check it out. Let's go into the world of music. Uh, no. <laughs> who's in charge of this? Uh, Mike. Go, oh, no. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you'll just uh, fast forward the podcast uh, like five minutes. If you have to take a bathroom break, go ahead now. Make yourself <laughs> a snack while you're at it. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's, Let's all go, go to the lobby. lobby. Mike is doing his segment. And I'm going to the song. <laughs> right. Ah, good to be back. <laughs> all right. First article I got is VH1 is bringing back the pop-up videos. They're bringing them back? Did they ever go? Yes. They went somewhere, but apparently VH1 is resurrecting them Where'd again. Where'd they go? <laughs> I'd rather MTV, you know, music television brought music back over VH1. Yeah. Because, you know, music television should not be hosting the Jersey Shore. VH1 because, you, you know, that makes sense. A television show about a bunch of idiotic guidos who don't sing, thank God, <laughs> on music television. In the real world, a bunch of college dumbasses who... Shut up, butt munch. <laughs> <laughs> That's the real world. A bunch uh, of kids drinking like, shut up, but munch. I've got class in the morning. <laughs> I have some class right now. So, Papa Video will return this fall with 60 new episodes. <laughs> They'll also have Papa Videos with Lady Gaga or Kesha. <laughs> Lady Gaga's a monster, about. Kesha's a whore. Oh, I can tell. Yay! Sting show. I'm going to bring up Kesha later, but the second article I got is Michael Jackson collaborated with the Bee Gees before he died, and mm -hmm. they released a short little clip of what they produced. You know what's more interesting to talk about is the fact that Michael Jackson's dead. Yeah, he's dead. That's fun to talk about. I was listening yeah. to Man in a Mirror last night, and I was seeing, like, Michael Jackson looking at me, and I screamed and ran. <laughs> Was that I, was, I was thinking, you know, Michael Jackson, like so many people were shocked that he died. He was on borrowed time the moment he switched races. Like, I don't think that anybody should really be shocked. I mean, yeah, he, really. looked like a, he looked like an old woman. He looked like a puppet. Yeah. He literally looked like an old white woman. Puppet. Like a decrepit deathbed. With strings attached. Was Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that tour was. Get your things that, to help me. Just, 
that this is it, Tor. That was like big in London, right? That's because yeah. nobody in America wanted to see a 50-year-old man scoot backwards. Yeah, Michael Jackson was pretty big internationally. Just over here in America, we're just like, nah, nah, we're going to listen to our rap music. Yeah, that's because over here in America, everyone saw him jump on that SUV and was just like, yep, done with him. I sounded so white when I said that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to yeah. listen to our white music. <laughs> <laughs> like Dave, you sounded like Dave Chappelle trying to be a white person. I know. <laughs> <laughs> We're listening to our white rap music. It gives us wings. The funny thing is, I live in Detroit, and guess who's from Detroit? Holy crap, it's Eminem. Oh, and holy crap, Eminem is part of music, and this is what's his face's segment, Mike's. See, I forgot his name because he's not that important. Yeah. yeah welcome back to Attack of the Austin, the show where everything's made up and the Mike segments don't matter. No nope. Yay! Right. Mike oh. segments are like your high school guidance counselor. Matter of fact, everybody oh, throw potatoes at Mike. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, why? <laughs> why today? You asked for it. Yeah, you invited me I back. Didn't ask. It's so Shut awesome if we could shit. talk to you again, dude. Yeah, yeah I mean, like, I am, and you're like, you got, why did I do this? If you got me and Chris in the same room, I mean, we're going to be, like, hitting you like a target duck range. <laughs> yeah. There he goes. <laughs> Quack. I think that's right, but yeah. <laughs> All right, let me uh, Pull. skip the next one. Duck season. <laughs> Wabbit season. Duck season. <laughs> <laughs> the attack of the awesome Wabbit. word of the day is research. You can open this up just like they would on Whose Line Is It Anyway? Welcome to Attack of the Awesome, the show where everything's made up and Mike's segments don't matter. Yeah, guess who died recently? You. <laughs> Wait, that's not right. Oh, ha. Huh. <laughs> No, you should know this Chris who died recently. That's a question an old an old woman asks. Guess who died recently? All of my friends. <laughs> Fucking hey. Oh, <laughs> so I don't like that. Guess who died recently? Everyone I've ever known. I'm so lonely. <laughs> oh, Mike, guess who died yesterday? The lady who was next to me. Whee! I think Susie's going to have a heart attack. Jesus Christ. Stop it, Chris. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. I'm going to have a drink every time he talks. Recently, okay. Macho Man Randy Savage died. What does that have to do with music? Really? <laughs> Ooh, yeah! Not really, on. Your segment is music! Yeah, uh, oh. so what do you qualify to talk about wrestling? I'm not. I figure I'd bring it up to you, because you know more wrestling than I do, bitch! Oh. I, do. <laughs> I do, and I know that Macho Man Randy Savage died, and I think it's kind of ironic that on Monday Night Raw they did a segment where someone got run over by a car. <laughs> <laughs> totally inappropriate timing, but hey, oh. I don't work for WWE Creative, now do I? Timing! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> really bad timing. <laughs> Macho Man Randy Savage dies in a car accident. <laughs> <laughs> they do a segment where Big Show gets run oh. over by a car. So Mike, what else happened in the world of music? Yeah, Macho wrap it up Randy already. Savage. Nothing oh, else. Oh, else. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Nothing else. It's over. Yeah, is ready. I'm going to move on to the weird news segment. Woo! Woo! Is, all right. All you need to know is that someone in Israel named their baby Like after the Facebook Like button. Oh, I saw that. That's stupid. <laughs> uh, you know, and, they should really have an IQ test for people who are about to have kids. And if you're too stupid... The government names your kid for you. Did you see that one about the couple in Australia or somewhere that are having their baby genderless? What? How do they even do that? They've just decided they don't want anybody to know what the gender of their child is. They've named it Storm, and they want to give the kid a choice over yes. what, it, what they yes. want to be. Well, does it have a penis or a vagina? Whatever it has, oh, that's God, the knows. gender it is. That's how <laughs> life works. Stupid fucking people. Oh my I know, it's just so <laughs> ludicrous. That's ridiculous. Oh my god. You have the choice to be a boy, a girl, a unicorn. <laughs> you know what, that's the kind of kid who's going to grow up and when it says, are you male or female, they're going to they're gonna select the one that says, skip this option, because they're, they're gonna stupid. Say, they're going to just say yes. <laughs> yeah. Are you a boy or a girl? I yeah. don't know! 
I'm sure the doctor was like, oh, you have a beautiful baby boy. No, we don't. You see this thing right here? That's a baby boy. I want him to have his own choice. He doesn't. If he wants to change it later, there's a machete that he can use to fix this. No, I, I would, I would As incorporate... As it stands right now, it's a boy. No, maybe they'd incorporate a zip into the equation if, if they wanted it to have a choice. Like, zip! Oh, look, I'm a boy today! Or they'll just do what they did in Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, and just tuck it under. Yeah. yeah. It's like a kangaroo sack. All right, the next article of weirdness is a food product. We haven't talked about food and weird news for a while, ever since the energy drinks of yesteryear. Mm. It's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich in a can. That's wild. Called Canwich. It's <laughs> 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 funny because it's a pun. <laughs> it's yeah, funny it's because stupid. it's stupid. Oh, yeah. God. Moving on. A peanut butter yeah, and jelly but... sandwich in a can. You know what? I can do that too. All you get is that's the easiest thing. Just take a couple of slices of bread, mash them into an empty can, throw in some peanut butter and some jelly, and then put a little blender mixer in there, and voila! Peanut butter jelly sandwich in a can. You are now officially mm, an crunchy. <laughs> Wait, peanut butter and sandwiches aren't supposed to be crunchy. Unless you get the, <laughs> unless you get the crunchy peanut butter. <laughs> so, they're selling them at 12 bucks a pop for four sandwiches. What? Why? You could buy, like, three things of bread, two <laughs> peanut butter jars, and two things of jelly for less. Because they're morons, that's why. Uh, it's, not morons. Even more con- it's not even more convenient to have it in a can. You need a can opener to open it, and then you got to... I'm sure the stuff is just like a blended mush, so you have to yes. scoop I mean, that out, and you, or you probably eat it with a spoon, so you look like a numbnuts when you, you're eating this brown, <laughs> white, and purple mess. There's a strawberry flavor jelly, peanut butter jelly sandwich, and a grape flavor jelly, as well as a barbecue chicken sandwich. Oh, that's even worse. Yummy! <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I can see that, because, you know, people always joke about eating shit. Let's just put it in a can. <laughs> A barbecue so, chicken sandwich, just brown on top of brown on top of brown. <laughs> it really look like you're e- you're eating a turd. Bathrooms at the ready. Yeah, yeah. These are the peel top cans, and they have the peanut butter and jelly plus a roll, as well as utensils for preparing and consuming the basic meal. That's so incredibly <laughs> stupid. It I is. I want to see somebody eat it with chopsticks. <laughs> That's what you get for purchasing this dumbass. Yes. Yeah, so right, what else you got? Yeah, I got one more. Apparently, if you look back in time, said- somebody discovered that the Nazis were trained dogs to read, speak, and write. That's because the Nazis were idiots. That's enough said. (laughs) Well, that was the weird news. Hey! I mean, look at their leader. He called himself the furrier. Yes, that is the weird news of the week. weird animal fetishes. I bet you didn't know that. (laughs) That's why they said, mine furry! (laughs) You can say that about your friends. If they're a furry, they're Nazis. Okie dokie. Oh, you have a th- you you like animals, huh? Huh? Nazi. <laughs> Why did Tommy Wiseau just come into my head there? <laughs> uh... I'm not a Nazi. Shut up and write mein Kampf, you loser. <laughs> so, Fury, how's your sex life? <laughs> yes. <laughs> mein Tommy, how is your sex life? <laughs> oh, hi, <Hilar>. Mark. <laughs> I did not hire her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hire her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Wow. Oh, Jesus. All right. Let's move on to the most awesome of the week. JJ, what's the most awesome movie of the week? This week's awesome movie is Big Trouble in Little China. Oh, good choice. Yes, good. because it was a movie about a guy who goes to China and fight other guys. <laughs> Am I yeah, right? His name was Wang. <laughs> 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 I love that movie. Oh, Wang, and it that seems guy? really fitting based on the subject material of this podcast this week. Yeah. See, I, I segue these things very nicely. Yes. You- in a big China and little China. Ah ha 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 ha. Big trouble. Ha ha ha. 
By big trouble, You're I mean. Staring me up by little critic. <laughs> big That's trouble cool. for little critic. <laughs> He's infertile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Impotence is a terrifying thing. <laughs> big trouble. For little critic. Just make everything <laughs> into a penis joke. Freaking, Chris, what's the awesome video game of the week? Well, I, I think just based on, I talked about it earlier, I guess we should just go with L.A. Noir. No, that game just came out. Not everybody played it. Fine, whatever. The most awesome game is, uh, I'm just looking over at my game collection trying to figure something out here. Yeah, that's what I do. We'll go with Rock Band. No. Because I've, play- I've been playing it recently. That's good enough to be awesome in my book. If I Let's play go with DJ Hero. You would pick DJ Hero. I don't. I, I, don't, it's, <laughs> I just like DJ Hero better than Rock Band. And I like Guitar Hero better than Rock Band. Uh, you know, I I like DJ Hero too, but it's not the most awesome game of the week. I stole your segment, Bub. Get used to it. It's Rock Band. <laughs> Bub. <laughs> Bub. 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 Let's go. What? I was, I was gonna. I was gonna say bitch, but. <laughs> Bob, <laughs> Bob, it was like Bob, Bob. <laughs> like a bitch, <laughs> like a boss. I'm not allowed to cuss in my next review, you guys. So, like, stay tuned for that. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm not tuning into that. It'll be so boring. I'm just it's, it's short though. It's still funny. Anyway, <laughs> so what's the review awesome. without swearing? <laughs> can't be the done. most awesome song, Susie. Yeah, the most awesome song of the week comes from an Irish singer that I absolutely love. Her name's Amelda May, and it's from her album that was released last year called Mayhem. And the song that I absolutely love playing, I've been playing for a couple of weeks now, is called Inside Out. She's basically uh, reworking the, the rockabilly type of music, and she is frigging awesome, and the song is addictive. The lyrics are brilliant, the tune of it is so good, and I love it. Rockabilly, you kind of reminded me of Billy Idol for a second. <laughs> hey, little sister, what have you done? Oh, come on, it's a nice day to start again. Yes. So White okay. wedding. <laughs> okay, so Imelda May with yes. Inside Out is this week's awesome song of the week. All right. Okay. Let's go to the last but not least segment of the Attack Squad Q&A, where our listeners send in questions for us to answer on the podcast. Oh, sweet. So who wants who wants to get their questions answered Me. first? Me. All right, JJ. Here's the one question I'll just pick out of the random. All right, from last week's episode, could you give us a more details on why clowns, clowns are mortal enemies of nudists? When did I say this? <laughs> We're just what? explaining. What okay, 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 I got it, I got it. It's because they make balloons, and balloons can be made into anything, especially <laughs> into, I don't know, well, whatever you imagine, Susie. Um, balloons hey! can be made into anything <laughs> that you want, and you can even make them into clothes. So, really, they, tur- they turn the balloons into, like, little garments, and... Nudists are afraid of those. And plus, like, they got static around them from their body, so whenever they touch something, they shock somebody. That'd actually be cool, actually. I want to be a nudist now. <laughs> Just be like, hey, how you doing, Mike? Tap you on the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, we killed him. <laughs> yeah, with a static shock. All right, what's Susie's All right. question, Mike? Susie's question is, since you like musicals, what are your thoughts on Rent? I don't like paying it. Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it's something else. <laughs> uh, Rent, I've never actually seen, but I've been intrigued to see it. It's on, on my long list of musicals to see. I've never seen it, but I've heard all the music from it, and it's awesome. Yeah, the music's really good. I'm, I'm the same. There's some songs that I've heard. I can't remember the names of them. That's <laughs> how so well I know it. They're so uh, awesome. <laughs> they're so awesome, though. But it is one that I'm intrigued to see. It's not not one I'd usually think about seeing, but from the clips I've seen of like the movie with Idina Menzel, who, if people know, is from Wicked, it, I'm intrigued to see it. So that's my thoughts on Rent. Very minimal. Good enough. Mike, what's your question for you? Okay, uh, since you like Tailspin, have you thought of buying it or any other classic Disney shows on DVD since most of the old 90s Disney cartoons are on DVD now? Yeah, I, I'd buy Tiny I was actually, Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, Tiny Toons for the win. 
Yeah, I... Tiny Toons, what is that? Why'd it go down the hole? <laughs> Why'd it go down the hole? Oh, Mike, don't impersonate anything ever again. <laughs> Why'd it go down the Answer hole? Answer the question, Mike. Yeah, Why'd Mike. Yeah, yes, I plan on buying the classic 90s Disney cartoons on DVD. The Simple 90s? Enough. What's that? <laughs> Shut that up. All right, I guess we'll just go with questions for Chris, and here we go. Dude, why are you such a douchebag? <laughs> who I am, man. Next question. That's who he is. All right. Welcome back, Chris. What has been your favorite episode of Light of the Night? Oh, that's a good one. I think, well, the most popular one has been the Friday one. But I think my personal favorite, uh, I really liked the online one. That was a good one. I'm also a pretty big fan of the uh, the riding solo one. So, Riding Solo and Online are probably the top two favorites. Yeah, okay. they're, they're really good. What are, you, what are, you, what are your, your favorites? JJ, I don't count you because I doubt you've seen it, but I know the... <laughs> nope. I'd okay. have to agree about the, the Friday one. I absolutely love that one just because that song is so shit. <laughs> yeah, Friday was uh, a good one. Huh? And you, um, you're one that saw recently Steal My Sunshine. <laughs> that one. Have you seen that one yes. yet, Mike? Yeah, I have. I didn't comment on it yet, but yeah, that's oh. really good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fucking comment it soon. God damn it. I love the way he's so enthusiastic about it. I'll fucking comment on it soon. Well, why the fuck not? <laughs> for me? Oh, cool. Yeah, for you. You got I questions for him. who I am. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. Here we go. You're given two nails, a hammer, and a waffle. What is your plan... To assassinate Hitler, if you were sent back to 1939 with said items, two nails, a hammer, <laughs> and a waffle. Oh, this is good. <laughs> what I would do is I would put the waffle. Uh, I would he would be giving one of his speeches like, <laughs> and I'd throw the waffle at him, and then he'd be like, "Why are you throw this waffle?" And then he would start to eat the waffle, and all the like Nazis going Heil would be confused. So then I'd run up with with one nail. I'd throw a, a nail at his guard, like a ninja, and it would hit him like right in the in the brain. So he would fall over dead. And then I'd throw the other nail, like a ninja star, at some random person in the crowd because I can do that. And then while he's busy eating his waffle, like Hoing blueberries, this good, I would hit him in the head with a hammer. Then, but no, I'm not done yet because then all his all the Nazi people who are like who are just done getting shocked to the fact that I threw a nail at one of their friends, uh, they would go, "Are you going to kill you?" And then I would like um, like that that last um, or oh, what scene is it? Um, like in Lord of the Rings, the final battle where there's like five of them against like an army of orcs. I would have my hammer and I would go fucking Aragon on everybody and I would kill them all with the hammer, and then I would leave. <laughs> And then I would find the remaining bits of waffle, and I would I would rip off the bitten part because that's disgusting, and I would have the waffle. <laughs> okay. Wow. And that's yeah. that's improvised. Wow, I should go on whose line. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next question: If you were a woodchuck, would you participate in a woodchucking contest? If not, why not? No, woodchucking's gay. <laughs> <laughs> would I participate if I was a woodchuck? Well, I, I guess I would just to prove the theory of how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. But then I, I, I actually know I probably wouldn't do that because woodchucks don't chuck wood. So no, no, I would not participate okay. in a woodchucking contest because it'd be stupid. Okay. <laughs> or right, no, see. no, what I would do is if I were a woodchuck, I would go to the farmer's house and chuck his wood into the river. Just so I could see his like, hey, wood jokes, quit joking about wood. And then I throw a block of wood at him. <laughs> you don't tell me what to do. You don't know my life. That's funny because it was a commercial. What All else right, next question. Groundhog Day occurs for you, the movie, not the boring yearly holiday. What do you do once the reality of your situation becomes clear? Well... I would come up with new and interesting ways to kill all the people I hate every day. I'd make sure it's on. I, I would hope it'd be on a day that I have off. I requ- I'd request Groundhog Day off just so I could. I wouldn't have to go to work, so I wouldn't get in trouble, you know, for not showing up. 
uh, I would basically, uh, as soon as the reality set in, I would party every day. Uh, that was what I'd do at first. Or, you know what? I would take over the world every day. Since, of course! Of course. Since I couldn't, since you can't really die because you don't really age, I would, I would like spend like a millennium just like taking over the world every day and be coming up with new fun ways to basically take over the world. Like, this week I will do it with two nails, a hammer, and a waffle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got two last questions for you. Okay. You are given a million dollars. How many bizarre sex acts do you purchase before you settle it down and do something responsible with what's left? None. I'm not a deviant. <laughs> if I was given a million dollars, I would buy video games and DVDs immediately. Yay! <laughs> All right, last question. Does your bubble gum lose its flavor on the bedpost overnight? What? Does, Does your my bubble gum, gum lose flavor on the bedpost overnight? I'm trying to decipher the trick here. <laughs> Um, I'm going to go ahead and say, no, I don't put bubble gum on my bedposts, because I don't have bedposts. So by law, it can't. <laughs> if, it, if, if it could lose its flavor overnight, I, I don't think it would, because I don't save gum for that long. <laughs> okay. That was an odd question. Yeah. So that is We're it for the... <laughs> what? All right. You said what? that could only get, that kind of question could only come from Detroit. Is that something Charles Manson would ask? <laughs> <laughs> I've never been married. Is... Have a husband. My wife's name was Scott. The rest of the questions we'll ask on the next episode, so we'll check out that for the next episode. That's it for the Attack Squad Q and A. Any closing thoughts of this podcast? Closing, closing thoughts. thoughts. <laughs> closing thoughts. Chris, you're fucking amazing for picking on me. He's a closing. Oh, I'm sleeping. <laughs> I'm <know> grumpy. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Did I fire seven shots or six? But to tell you the truth in all this confusion, I forgot myself. <laughs> you have to ask yourself this question. Do you feel lucky? What do you punk? <laughs> Closing <laughs> thoughts. Closing oh, thoughts. I'm gonna die. Oh. Chris keeps going. <laughs> can't have any more kills. Closing thoughts. I just closed it pretty well. <laughs> uh, Chris is fucking hilarious and we might have him in another episode who knows what do you mean might we are having <laughs> I think you mean I another think... episode with me <laughs> it'll be a while I before can't. I get invited back you can only have so much goodness so often <laughs> oh god Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be back eventually. <laughs> yeah, where's my review with Herbert the Fur <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Chris. Hard work on it. I need to see the film first, and that's something I just really don't want to do. <laughs> challenge you. She didn't challenge you to do that. You do it right away, I'll man. She challenged me to shut up. <laughs> Get your I'll bring, I'll come over to your muscly arms, I swear. And slap your penis. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you talk back to me, I'll slap you square in the penis. Okay. <laughs> uh, this has been Attack of the Awesome, and yeah. you've been attacked. Good job. I've been, been attacked. <laughs> you finished it off that guess. Thank you for watching Attack of the Awesome. You've just been attacked. <laughs> Oh, no! I'm sure you had a fun time. Bye! <laughs> Let the attack of the bloopers begin. <laughs> it's mainly Mike fucking up. Hey, JJ! Hey, I'm here. Yay! And Pamela's working, so let's go, let's go, let's go! <laughs> we're, we're some screws up! I, I, I just had to find my mic, that's all. Uh, we have Mike here. Why'd you need to find him? I said my mic. <laughs> <laughs> you have your own mic as well? <laughs> my, 
What, you got a clone of me in your room? Yeah. You've got your own life. Oh god, life. Life must be so difficult for you. <laughs> okay, end of magic has begun, I see. <laughs> and I've not even finished my coke yet. <laughs> oh, I finished mine. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> 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 what are we laughing about? No. Were you guys making fun of me while I was away? Yes. Yes. <laughs> We're only supposed to make fun of Mike. This is not part of my contract. Okay. <laughs> you guys do contracts now? Oh, wow. Yes. yes. You fucked up. It's an like obligated <laughs> agreement. <laughs> Great. Okay, who's hosting this thing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a guest. You guys should have had this worked out already. Yeah, Mike. Mike, you, you fucked, fucked up. up. No. You fucked up. Boy, that was a bad rendition of that. We'll, we'll work on it, won't we, Chris? Yeah. Yeah, you guys gotta work on that. I'm gonna write a full version of the song. <laughs> <laughs> no more illustrations and everything. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> lyrics and shit. Released by Dumbass Records. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, released by Mike. Okay. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> released by Hajo Sex Life Records. <laughs> right, Mike, what's happening? Mike, hold on, I'm thinking of something. I'm thinking of something. Hold on. <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> Yeah, neither, the, neither can I. I'm gonna do something else. Hope you don't mind me. <laughs> Had a lot of work to do. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. My work involves going out in the yard and cleaning. Please, take all the time you need. <laughs> <laughs> we will. My name is Brad Jones. <clears throat> no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Awesomeness out of every orifice? I don't think so. You don't do the voice properly. No, you do Even I can do it. And I'm a chick. You're supposed to have a certain rasp to your voice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he did. He was in radio for a little while. He was? Yeah, he was up waking up to him. Yeah, he used to work the 1 900 numbers, didn't you know? He said this like a hundred times. Yeah. Oh, aren't I special? <laughs> 900 numbers. Woo! Woo! For calling 1 900, stick it in. <laughs> I don't think that's a legitimate phone number, but anyway, whatever. I wouldn't be surprised if it really was. <laughs> no, it's too many letters. <laughs> stick it. Yeah, yeah. Well, then that's not nearly that's not nearly suggestive enough. <laughs> Penguins. <laughs> Timing. Yeah. Thank you for good work. Caligula Hotline. <laughs> I am the number one fan. <laughs> if you liked the movie, press one. If you didn't, boom. Yeah. If you puked at all in this movie, press two. <laughs> and the operator will be with you shortly. Oh, I could give you so many. My mom made some up. She may have got 20 of them up for me. <laughs> <laughs> I know. This is her job now. She just sits and writes taglines for the podcast and then gives me jokes for the reviews. Way to go, Susie's mom. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> So if this was the American Idol of podcasting, JJ, were you Scotty McCreary or Lauren Elena? Did any of them sing good songs? No. <laughs> Who's the guy that, sing, that sung uh, the pants on the ground? Okay. Flat. <laughs> the 65-year-old creepy guy? Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm the one who sings that, and I still made it on the show. I've yet to see that. Uh, I've been told to review it. <laughs> <laughs> You're a movie buff. You need to see that. I know. I know. I'm. You I, review movies and you haven't seen a movie. <laughs> like, duh. 
Oh my god, I have <laughs> seen every single you... movie on the fucking planet. Sue well, me! Then, well, then you're not qualified to be a critic. Okay. Yeah. That's internet. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think Mike hasn't put out a review yet? Oh! 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 <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh I felt that. Back. I felt that all of <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna get you <laughs> now, I'm, I'm even more mad, like, about it today because we're working on the pool in the backyard. That's what, that's the yard work I was drafted for today. And uh, it's not even gonna be ready for, like, a week because, you know, oh, we need to take all the tiles off and repaint it. No, we do not. <laughs> Fill it with water and let me jump in. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that needs to be done to a pool. Exactly. You don't need to paint the pool. <laughs> Water makes it blue. <laughs> That's all you need. So we are to the... In a world where a man has to propose to his wife, <laughs> he will go through all sorts of dangers, kill lots of people, and tell lots of jokes. This summer... <laughs> <laughs> the movie event of the year. I do. Speaking, speaking of falling down the stairs, have you guys ever been in a, a movie in the in the theater where like somebody's fallen over or something's happened in the middle of a film? Yes. yes. Like you mean something's happened in like reality? Somebody fell over? Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, that's happened before. Just I had one where I went to see Pearl Harbor. Oh. In, in the theater. Yeah, I know. Um, and there was this old woman that was going down the stairs and she tripped. She was like up at the top and she like, bounced all the way down the stairs and nobody moved to help her. No, because there's a movie playing. Like, nobody yeah, moved. There's a, there's a movie <laughs> playing. Why? You glance over, snicker, and then like back to the room. There was nobody moved. There was one person that came in just saying, Can somebody go get somebody? So I ran out to go get an usher and nobody moved when I got back. I was like, Fucking move! <laughs> no one watched the screen, then glancing over at her, then glance back! Yeah, she just fell down like the stairs. Walk it off, lady. No, the, the funniest thing was I just heard somebody going, <laughs> <laughs> Ew! I think we could have been watching, like, uh, we could have been watching, like, a dramatic movie. Like, we could have been watching, like, I don't know some dramatic horrible movie I guess no, watching some dramatic movie it's getting to the crying scene and then some lady falls down the stairs and, oh no and then <laughs> <laughs> everybody in the theater cracks up and, it was, it funny you know time, and it's just it's when the main character dies <laughs> oh somebody's having an odd reaction to this scene and then you look you see someone on see someone on the ground like oh you're, you're too into this movie. You need to go home. <laughs> oh. you know, somebody's crying. They got a broken arm. Like, wow, they fell because they were paying too much attention to the movie. <laughs> Not even that good. Uh -huh. oh, the main character dies. You have to damage an appendage. Oh, that's not good. God, I missed that. Good times. Good times. <laughs> what? Well, God, you miss what? <laughs> so JJ does that, but you just. Break it up to a whole different level. And porn. And porn, yes. Porn! <laughs> they got a new model on the Bang Bro side. <laughs> 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 this just in. Hot, hot 23 year old blonde female sticks rectum on top of telephone pole and slides all the way down. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> The Long most amazing term. bit, she lived to tell the tale. I just Unfortunately, got the she head. hasn't been removed. I just got the Wonder Boner coming in my head when you were talking about that. <laughs> this week in Weird Porn News, Lady Screws Deck Chair. <laughs> <laughs> and other news, not a smart idea to fuck a soccer ball. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna. Do, that's gonna be my new show. Like <laughs> in Naples, Florida, today a man was arrested for having sexual relations with a tree. <laughs> various econ <laughs> various environmental rights groups are protesting his arrest, saying he's just in love with nature. <laughs> <laughs> That's that, that story and more 
at the six o'clock hour. <laughs> God. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I would love to sit watch that. <laughs> watch this week in weird porn news. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll make it a series. Just maybe I'll do like a one-off series for you. The special guest Brad Jones. <laughs> special guest. Special guest. <laughs> we now go to our senior porn movie correspondent Brad Jones. What's going on this week in pop culture porn, Brad? <laughs> well. They've just made a new porno spoof of Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> It's called Butt Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> it's like they don't that. even try anymore. <laughs> Jackson <laughs> Earl goes <Yeah>. deeper. <laughs> the main character's name is Jack Swallow. They're stealing their jokes from Epic Movie. <laughs> I killed my dirty uh, work kid. <laughs> At the end of the day, it wasn't bad. Back to you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> 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 now our top story tonight, man has sex with shotgun. The results are what you'd expect. <laughs> Let's just say one is load before the other, and one is now dead. <laughs> now I remember I can breathe every week now that you're <laughs> you're only doing a few episodes, Chris. I can never breathe <laughs> when you're here. Oh god. In the movie world of things. <laughs> the movie world. The movie world of things. You fucked up. Yeah, fucked you up. fucked up. You fucked up. Yeah, keep working on that, alright. Yeah. yeah, I'm working Excuse on me. it. What is going on? Right. Hey, okay. He at least does it. Enter- he's at least entertaining. Whereas you got Kevin James, who does the same fat loser, who does the same fat loser jokes every movie he's in. Mm-hmm. You know, I they, they, there. they just they just shove him with a new gimmick in every movie he's in. Like Paul Blart, he's a fat security guard in this new horrible zookeeper movie. He's a fat loser who runs a zoo in. Chuck and Larry, he's a fat loser who was a firefighter pretending to be gay. <laughs> in Kings of Queens, he was a fat loser in Brooklyn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, in Grown Ups, he was a fat loser who was a fat loser of the group. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, he sucks. Um, so, anyway. It's not Kev- Kevin James doesn't suck. Like, if you've seen his stand up comedy, he's really he's not that bad. But every movie he's in, he's really starting to get desperate. Like, Zookeeper? The last movie, like, I can remember Kevin James being in that I thought, like, he did a legitimately good job, even though he was still playing the fat loser character, was Hitch. And that's because of Will Smith. Oh, I oh hate yeah, that yeah. Movie. I hate that movie. That was the oh. last thing I remember Kevin James in where I actually didn't, like, finish watching it and be like, you know what, that movie was another piece of garbage, but everything else since that has been garbage, 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 garbage from him. Piled on garbage. Yeah. On top of garbage. <laughs> In a garbage yes. dump. Da, 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 yeah. Oreos, cookies, and donuts. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> One of these things is totally random. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what it is. Okay, right. Uh, moving on, uh, the last article that I'm not finished yet! How many do you oh, have? Yeah. Jesus, Three. don't take forever. This Nothing's changed one. since I left. You still take forever. <laughs> yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the last yeah, one. Let's see, what's changed since I've been gone? Oh, let's see, Mike still fucks up, Susie takes forever, and now they <laughs> have a JJ guy. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, he, he doesn't have a green card. Are you guys paying him under the table? Like, 
You have to, you have to consult Mike for that. There's cheese that's under the table. Hey, JJ, do you <laughs> tile? <laughs> what? <laughs> do you do tile? What's that? No. How about yard work? <laughs> yeah, maybe yard work. Oh, shut up! He's not a... <laughs> Can you I guys finish? should be you guys should be more concerned about this. If he's illegal, he works for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you guys will get thrown in jail. It's not my show, it's Mike's. Oh, so Mike will get thrown in jail. You wouldn't do that. Yay! She's in Scotland anyway. Yeah. Got his thing. I'm sure the Scot I'm sure Scotland Yard will be looking for the podcast illegal immigrant Hira. Yes. But Mike. You live in Wisconsin. They have nothing up there. They'll come searching for you. <laughs> Wisconsin, anyway, Wisconsin PD will be all over you. Shut up. <laughs> right. Fuck. Do you guys okay. even have police to force up there? God's sake. I didn't say yeah. that. <laughs> Last year. <laughs> Hickey from Kinnicky's like a Hallmark card. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought I was going to do anime. I thought yeah. I was going to pass this on to Chris. You fucked up! You fucked up! Na 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 Fuck you! I don't know, I think I'm going to set the You Fucked Up song to the melody of We Are The Champions by Queen. <laughs> Mike, you fucked up! Oh, my, my friend! friend. <laughs> <laughs> and you fuck up more before the end! of the podcast. Uh, uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, huh? What is this? <laughs> What's that noise? Who's going... <laughs> me. Oh. Okay. Yep. I'm turning around in my chair. <laughs> Your chair... <laughs> Your chair is going... <laughs> when you sit on it, either it's saying that you're fat... Or you're not fat. <laughs> 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 okay, you're not fat, Jesus. Fat. <laughs> it appears I've struck a nerve. Hmm. If they titties. do anything. Yeah. Bigger titties. <laughs> uh, I don't know, though. The titties in those games have always been kind of weird because each boob is independent of the other. Like you They got... have their own life in them. Exactly. They, each boob is it's like a separate animation. Like, you guys, she's, running, she's running down the beach and she's got one boob hitting her in the chin and the other one's hitting her in the left shoulder. Wasn't that done on VG chat? I mean, not VG chat, uh, VG cats or something. Yeah, probably. I'm sure they, they've done it, but that's what it is. That's how all of them are. Like, they jump up and, they jump up to hit a volleyball and, and they don't hit it with their hands, they hit it with their boobs. Which is, fu- which is funny. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it's it's funny the first time you see it, but people who are looking at it as like a like as a trip to the whack off warehouse, you know, you're not really getting anything good because it's so unrealistic in the fact that just walking sends the boobs flying in all different directions. I mean to sound crude, but Susie, is that realistic? I'm not going there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't you dare! You heard it on a deck of gum first. You heard it here first. <laughs> this week in poor news. <laughs> are independent of each other. Okay. DJ. What? You're the senior boob correspondent. <laughs> Boobs! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so is it my go. turn? I got, I got my senior porno correspondent, Brad. I got my senior boob correspondent, JJ. <laughs> but I'm an ass man. Can I, can I get the asses? You want to be the senior ass correspondent? Yes. Why the fuck did we get into this area? Good idea, because there's an old uh, wrestler uh, who was a uh, uh, badass Billy Gunn, who later became Mr. Ass Billy Gunn. And he had a theme called I'm an Ass Man, and whenever I go over to you for your ass segment, we can play that song. <laughs> yes, I'm an ass man! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's move on to the most awesome of the week. <laughs> it is the most awesome of the week. <laughs> oh, but is right. it a movie? <laughs> it could be. It could be made into a movie. 
screenplays this on... This week in poor news, <laughs> her ass correspondent J.J. makes a penis movie, reviewed by Brad Jones. It sucks! <laughs> <laughs> you mean she sucks. It. <laughs> okay, who's going first? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think we can really do anything after that. <laughs> I bet they might just make it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Here we go. This, <laughs> Brad. What kind of review do you get for us? Well, somebody who is on the that guy with the glasses forums made a porno movie. It's called The Little Critic's Little Critic. Ha ha ha! That's terrible. Love that movie. <laughs> I hate you. I hate both of you. I hate all of you. <laughs> I don't know how I feel. Oh god. <laughs> I had that coming. You made a big mistake calling yourself Little Critic. <laughs> oh, shut up. I should call myself Little Critic with his big penis. <laughs> the name of Porno movie is the Little Critic's Little Critic with score done by Little John. Yeah! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every time he thrusts, I hear okay! <laughs> oh, the blooper reels are me for the Every time she chokes, I hear what? <laughs> Gross. I just, I, like, that's it's like watching a porno. You don't want to watch people have stories. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, yeah, welcome to Attack of the Awesome, where everything's made up and Mike's segments don't matter. That's right. Mike's segments are just like the plot in porn movies. Yeah. <laughs> just don't matter. <laughs> yeah. In weird porn news, the Attack of the Awesome <laughs> podcast has an entire episode dedicated to sex. <laughs> Welcome to the 6 o'clock Weird Porn News. Tonight, <laughs> our top stories, a young man in Evans Point, Wisconsin, goes on a crazy sexual spree, raping and pillaging various convenience stores, like wannabe pirates. Oh, God. <laughs> Join us at the top of the hour when one of the convenience store owners managed to stop the crazy young man. With a shotgun to the balls. <laughs> that story uh, more on this edition of Weird Board News. <laughs> now we go to our senior dead guy. Because <laughs> he got shot for going on a sexual spree. Mike! <laughs> Did you know you were the character in that story? Yes, they knew. A young man from Steven's Point. I, I know that. <laughs> that, that, that <laughs> was my city. Yes, yeah, you were referencing me. I realized that. Welcome to Weird Porn News. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll hook up on that fun porn show they do now. <laughs> we have porn news. I've seen it. The slapping correspondent. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird book news. Weird. Right, enough, enough, enough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. Stop. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Luckily for us, he thought it on film. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, God. Okay, I love you, bye-bye.